Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, Ridwanullah family. Welcome back to a new episode of the Ridwanullah TV show. I'm your host, money, business, and life maximizer, Hussein Mahmoud, working to help you completely maximize your money, business, and life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Verily, all praise and thanks are due to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator, owner, and sustainer, the one who's worthy of all worship without any associates or intermediaries. And may the peace and blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be upon the most esteemed leader and most honorable teacher, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his family, his companions, and those who follow him until the day of judgment. Allahumma ameen. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, in today's episode we're going to be talking about money, bi-idhanillahi um, ta'ala. And possibly for the foreseeable future, maybe forever, Allahu A'lam, we'll give it a shot and see how things go. Uh, but I'm pretty sure um, a lot of people, including myself, are interested in money, are thinking about money. So um, I wanted to talk, to talk to you guys about a particular topic on money though. Um, so you want to stick with us throughout the episode, bi-idhanillahi ta'ala, so we can... Uh, provide you with the most value and use that you possibly can in your life, in your money, business, and life. Uh, ta'ala. So, what I wanted to talk about is valuing your valuing and prioritizing your money. Ta'ala. Um, this is a message that I would like to hear myself personally, and um, it's only right that I share it with you guys as well. Ta'ala, because there's a lot of mixed information that we're getting out there. Um, so just keep in mind, um, that's essentially what we're going to be talking about. But before we dive in, uh, let me give you a couple of uh, announcements and updates, sponsorships, um, announcements and updates, bi-idhanillahi um, ta'ala. Our primary sponsor is Ridwanullah Organization, which is a uh, Islamic uh, professional and personal development company that's designed to help you completely maximize your money, business, and life uh, in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And you can visit more, you can visit us for more information at ridwanullah.com. And if you have further, if you would like to sponsor this uh, show, send your request, budget, and details to ridwanullahorganization at gmail.com. <laughs> So uh, in terms of announcements and updates, you know, there's a lot of things that I had planned, um, uh, you know, for the uh, before the coronavirus pandemic happened. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Um, and a lot of it got canceled. Um, my trip to the East Coast uh, for a very, very dear friend of mine's wedding uh, has been canceled. And I was planning on visiting some family and friends out in the East Coast. Um, that didn't quite happen as planned. So majority of that is canceled. A lot of the, uh, you know, some, I would say all of the speaking engagements that I had brewing in the background was ready to, uh, execute on got canceled because of it. Uh, just a lot of cancellations to be honest with you. So, um, that's all that I can think about right now. And um, I want to let you guys know as well that uh, the Radwanullah University's life maximization program is up and running again. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. We got back on our grind during April. Um, so whichever month that you're watching this, uh, feel free to join us in that program. And I'll try to provide the links in the, da in the, 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 link in the description below. Or uh, you can visit us at radwanullah.com uh, for more information. I'm still trying to figure out um, you know, how to get my online, uh, my website up and running in the proper way. So, uh, feel free to, uh, be the nillahi ta'ala, uh, visit us there for more information. Um, that's all that I can think about right now. Um, other than that, uh, just in terms of announcements and updates, I've been, uh, working extremely hard to, you know, improve my money, my business in life. Um, and uh, it's it's been quite the journey. It's a lot of mental energy, to be quite honest with you. So, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that hopefully you guys are doing well and you guys are safe during this uh, unprecedented times. Um, so, 
you know, keep, keep, keep at it, you know, figure out ways to stay on top, get and stay on top of your game. Um, for me personally, I'm working on getting on top of my game and figuring out ways to stay on top of it. And I hope that you and your loved ones are doing the same. So those are all the, you know, sponsorships, announcements and updates that I can think about as of right now. Um, so in terms of uh, uh, the topic for today is valuing and prioritizing your money. Uh, one of the things that I've realized, just to tell you right, right off the bat, one of the most uncomfortable topics for me personally, um, and even though I'm improving throughout time, is you know focusing on money and talking about money and valuing and prioritizing money, uh, to be quite honest with you. And it's I, I don't know exactly what it is, um, but I, I would potentially say that it is uh, the situation that we find ourselves in, obviously, because of our uh, dean. And I would say majority of it is the misunderstanding of uh, the aspects of money within our dean, potentially. Um, and a lot of it is just, you know, cultural conditioning coming from uh, Baidoa, Somalia, uh, being born there. And then obviously during the Civil War having to migrate through uh, uh, Mogadishu, Hamar, and then through Ethiopia, and through Kenya, and all the way here to Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, it's, it's, it's a lot to process, and it's one of the most difficult topics for us to talk about. So, and I would say the root of that issue, at the heart of that issue, is values and priorities and lack of understanding of what values and priorities are and which one comes first. And to be quite honest with you, um, I've been through uh, a situation where I've been going back and forth with my values and priorities. And, you know, the more that I'm starting to find, you know, reasonable amount of success and happiness, uh, the more my values and priorities are being stabilized, the more my values and priorities are uh, becoming uh, uh, consistent and constant uh, for the most part. So, and, and when I'm relating it to money, uh, it, it's, it's even a, 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 a bigger topic, uh, you know. And so for me, it's 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 still one of the hardest things for me to do and continues to be um and you know you you have to figure it out you have to get it together be the ta'ala because at the end of the day uh there's so many thoughts and feelings that I'm having as of right now related to money that um you know it's it's amazing on one token and within the same token is downright sad uh, because I feel like there's so many things that uh, I've had scheduled in my life, so many things that I wanted to accomplish, so many things that I wanted to do um, simply uh, haven't been done and or are on pause because of money. And for me personally, I'm not trying to say money is, the, you know, the all and be it or whatever that whatever that means, but you know, money has to be put in perspective, right? So you have to value and prioritize your money properly. And I'm going to tell you something that I'm still in the process of figuring out and getting together. Um, and my a, a lot of the people, when they're talking about uh, priorities, they really mean values. And sometimes when people are talking about values, they really mean priorities. And I want to be able to define those two parts of it for you guys and for myself and hopefully for you guys as well. And this is through conversations and uh, research and trying to understand what it really means, what the two diff different terminologies really mean. And how can we value and prioritize money in the best way possible, as well as business and all other aspects of life. Before I dive into it, let me just make it very, very clear. Uh, there's different extremes of money. Those are those are the people. There's people who completely downplay money and act like money is nothing. Um, but 24/7, they're stressed about money. They have anxiety and everything else related to money. And all you know, they're they're either working for money or they're consumed, stressed about money. And then there's the other extreme where you know people who worship money essentially. 
And they are 24-7 after money and continuously working hard for money and don't realize that what they have is sufficient at the very least or abundant or max maximum amount. It All of that doesn't matter. All they're doing is worshiping, going after money. And then there's that in between the balance. So we have to become amongst those who balance their money, bidhanillah ta'ala. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us be among those, amongst those individuals who balance their money, their business, as well as all aspects of their lives in this dunya and more importantly in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the disclaimer that I wanted to give you guys is uh, even though, you know, potentially this channel could be focused on money solely and business and all other aspects of life, what I wanted to say is the, the most important aspect of your money, your business, and life is one thing, and that is your deen. So as long as your deen is on point, as long as you are keeping your money, your business, and life within the boundaries, rules, and regulations of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then you are on point. So I don't want anybody to say, okay, you know, since you're talking about money, you value money over your deen. And that's not the case at all. Um, so that's what I wanted to talk about. So value is something, to me at the very least, is something that you hold to be important. That's the word that I'm going to use, important. Um over certain things. So you're going to have to categorize different aspects of your money, business, and life. Um, and priority is something that is urgent, uh, meaning it comes ahead in terms of your time. So, so values are something that is important. Priorities is something that is urgent. And they could fluctuate in different ways. So you have to have standards and expectations in the grand scheme of your money, your business, and life. And on a day-to-day -day basis, what are you valuing? What are you prioritizing? And the prime example that I'm going to give you is your, your Fajr Salah versus your job. And sadly, and, 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 uh, sadly a lot of us, I just, I'm just going to say that so I don't want to uh, put myself in trouble for the most part. Uh, sadly, a lot of us, you know, are eagerly waking up for our jobs more than we're eager to wake up for our Fajr. And no matter what time the job is, we'll wake up before the sun, after the sun, during the sunrise, we'll wake up for, for our jobs. But when it comes to Fajr, whether it's before, uh, you know, our jobs, after our jobs, whatever that is, it's hard for us to wake up. So let's say the situation is your Fajr is, say, let's say you work before the sun rises, about an hour or two before the sun rises. So that is a priority, right? Because it comes before Fajr. It doesn't mean that you're not valuing your fajr more than your, your, your job. It just means that your job comes before your fajr in time-wise. And that means you value your time, your, you value your fajr way more than your job. So when someone values their deen and self in terms of, let's say, let's take a step back in the grand scheme of your life, there's only four parts. The first part is your freedom and wealth. The second part is your deen and self. The third part is your family and relatives. And then the fourth and final part is the ummah and the world. Those are all the four parts of your life, essentially. So if you could look at it, for me, the biggest struggle for me was putting my freedom and wealth as number one. Because I've always had that misconception that if I put my freedom and wealth first, it means that I have valued my freedom and wealth first, which is not could not is which necessarily is not true. Um, depending on the situation that you're in, you might do that, which is incorrect. If you value your freedom and wealth before your dean and self, 
before your family and relatives, before your ummah and world, that is incorrect. I hope that I'm making sense. I'm trying to explain it as best as I possibly can with the situation that I'm in right now and the understanding that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has allowed me to have. Um, but in, in the grand scheme of things, if you prioritize your freedom and wealth, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you value your freedom and wealth above your deen and self and all of the different aspects of your life, then there is something wrong with that. And that is something that I had to come to grip with or grasp uh, and something that I'm still wrestling with. Um, but like I said, before it was all completely in shambles. But as I continue to progress in life and slowly but surely find some level of success and happiness uh, within my money, my business, and life, I'm starting to understand my values and priorities are becoming a little bit stronger. Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen. And hopefully as I continue, it becomes stronger and stronger. Um, and I've, I've even seen individuals at the highest level of, of the game, whether that's the money, the business, or life, um, not have the correct understanding between those two distinctions and differentiations of what a value is and what a priority is. And we, we, we use that interchangeably when there are completely two different things and we, we get lost and confused about them because uh, when you go to uh, the, the people of knowledge, Islamic knowledge, they tell you that you should not value money and um, freedom and wealth or money before your deen and all aspects of your life, which is true. But within the same token, our job comes first. We have to work around 40 hours a week, give or take, depending on how much you're working every single week, to be able to take care of our, our freedom and wealth, to be able to take care of our deen and self, to be able to take care of our family and relatives, and to be able to take care of our own and world. So that doesn't necessarily mean we have valued our work before our deen, it just means that it is prioritized before our deen. Now, there is times when our deen, or let's say matters within our deen where it's fajr, is prioritized before our jobs, our work. So you could essentially, the, the now when you get to a situation where your values and priorities are aligned, great, that's how we wanna have it. So, but, but within the same token, it doesn't mean if you wake up, let's say, let's say Fajr is like 6 a.m., but you have to clock in to work at 5 a.m., but you wake up at 4 a.m. It doesn't mean that you value your job more than your Fajr Salah. It just means that your job is your work, let's just say, is whether that's a job or a business or whatever you, whatever you have is prioritized before your value, your, your deen. And a lot of us, including myself, we get that com completely mixed up and completely confused. So what I'm trying to tell you is value and prioritize your money uh, in the right way. Um, and that knowledge and that value and priority is going to drastically change your life. And having the correct understanding, and even more importantly, the correct action of values and priorities in terms of your money will drastically change everything in your life. Uh, I hope that it makes sense uh, because to me it makes sense, but I'm, I feel like sometimes I might not be explaining it in the right way and I need to figure out how to potentially explain it in the right way. Um, but... That's one of the things that I, I, I wish uh, I, I've learned a long time ago. Um, you know, for me right now, Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I'm in my early 30s, I think. <laughs> you know, being born in Somalia, there's no birth certificates and, and nobody knew <laughs> nothing. Uh, but anyway, uh, you know, I, I wish I've known this, you know, as early as possible. I wish I've known this definitely in my late teens. Uh, during my 20s and in the end of or break of my, you know, 
end of 20s and beginning of my 30s, uh, I wish I'd known this. I wish I, I you know, I, you, you know someone's values and priorities and if they are struggling to balance or prior, uh, to, to balance the different things in their lives, it just simply means that they don't have their values and priorities in order. Um, and I've been consciously struggling to get my values and priorities in my life in order. Um, and Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, as of right now, um, it is as I've described it to you a few moments ago where I'm v v um, valuing and prioritizing uh, my freedom and wealth, my deen and self, my family and relatives, and the Ummah and world to the best of my abilities. I hope the things that I've mentioned to you are helpful to you are valuable to you, are useful to you. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to have the correct understanding of these different things and not have half of the information being uh, presented to us and ha allow us to have the complete picture, the balanced picture. Um, and I have a lot of stories that I want to share with you, but uh, some of them are personal, some of, some of them are professional, some of them are personal. Some of them are things that I, I, I'm not going to share out of respect for certain individuals that I've been communicating with. And some of them are just things that need to be expressed. But hopefully throughout this journey that we're in of completely maximizing our money, business, and life in this dunya, and more importantly in the akhirah, and most importantly for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we'll be able to improve on. Uh, throughout that journey, um, but I hope that this was helpful. Uh, you know, it's 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 it's, it's very 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 important, uh, for us to have this understanding. And maybe you need to watch this a couple of times uh, for it to make sense. Maybe I haven't explained it well enough, and you need to do your own research. Uh, start in the Quran and the Sunnah, and you know, build on from there. Um, and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive us for our shortcomings and allow us to improve upon it. Um, you know, maybe it'll stir up some emotions upon, you know, within you, some negative emotions, and maybe that's a good thing. Uh, maybe it'll stir up, stir up some positive emotions, and hopefully that's a good thing for you. Um, but, you know, put your values and priorities, value and prioritize your money properly, be it in Allah ta'ala. And... Uh, continuously work on that and build upon that and um, I guess one of the stories that I can share with you is I've always wanted to host a quarterly retreat which is now a, become it became a quarterly retreat but I've always wanted to host uh, retreats where we go to an amazing place um, you know and 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 learn and grow and maximize completely maximize our money our business and life uh, in this dunya and in the akhira and obviously this is just as time went on uh, the things that I wanted to talk about and one of the biggest things that was holding me back was the money mindset that I've had or the money beliefs that I've had um, simply because I didn't have enough money to put it together or I didn't think people were willing to pay a couple of thousand dollars thousands of dollars to join me in the retreats um, and that's all specifically related to my values and priorities in relation to money or my money beliefs. And um, it's time to change that, you know. It's time for me. And Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen, I've had a couple of failed attempts where, you know, I've succeeded minorly. Uh, but majority of it was some level of failure um, in terms of hosting my quarterly retreats. And I'm, inshallah going to do the best that I can to position it in a way that allows me to host it because whether I'm hosting it or not me personally because of how valuable and useful it is to me personally and my money my business and all aspects of my life I, I it, it, it's a non-negotiable in my life I have to take my quarterly retreats and I hope that you do as well and I'm still trying to position myself in a way where I can completely take it off instead of partly take it off or as much as I can. Uh, but all of that had to do with my values and priorities about money and my belief about money um, and the, the situation that I was in with money. There's people who thousands of dollars are chump change too. Um, so 
char you know pricing the 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 retreat just the retreat itself and not uh you know j just the information and the the, the 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 training and the coaching and the masterminding of the quarterly retreats is going to be worth thousands of dollars and is going to be priced at a couple of thousands of dollars and then obviously you're going to have to book your own uh flights uh, your whatever transportation it is, depending on how far or close you are to the thing, you might have to book your flights, your uh, hotels, your transportation and food and things like that, and uh, different activities that are aside from the group activities and things like that. But it, it was hard for me to think about charging people a couple of thousands of dollars um, for just the the training the coaching and the masterminding of the quarterly retreats and right now i've been thinking that if someone cannot see the value of it for themselves then it's okay <laughs> there's no problem and that that that's that's what i've been struggling with and that's why i'm telling you to value and prioritize your money properly and having the correct and complete understanding of it. So, you know, inshallah, as things go on, as I'm building uh, the Radwanullah TV show, uh, the Radwanullah University, and the quarterly retreats, and everything else that goes along with that, um, I'm going to learn how to value and prioritize my money properly. And I hope that you do as well, even in Ta'ala, and continuously work and struggle and strive too. And it'll go back and forth like it did for me. Uh, but keep it consistent, keep it constant, and continuously build on that and find the right balance is the message with your money, your business, and all aspects of your life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, once again, I hope that this was valuable for you. It was valuable for me to share this with you because I've been struggling and putting in a lot of energy and effort internally to be able to come to these uh, understanding and knowledge uh, um, so Jazakumullah khair that's all I got for you guys today uh, understand if you're struggling with money it simply starts with your values and priorities um, and other people might have different values and priorities and um, once I mentioned it to one of my uh, uh, one of my friends or a couple of my friends, they some of it actually was like kudos, keep going for it, and some of them were like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> but in any of those situations, find the right balance. Be the nilai taala. I challenge you to value and prioritize your money properly. Be the nilai taala. Um, and if you guys have any questions about money that you would like for me to answer for you in this show, send your uh, questions to radwanullahorganization at gmail.com um, and I'll be able to answer some of those questions for you to the best of my abilities. Um, to summarize and conclude, value and prioritize your money properly because you're already stressed about it, you're already thinking about it, you're already uh, working for it or enslaved by it. Um, Turn it into your own, your slave, you, and become its master. Be even Allah Taala, and continuously build on that. It's going to be a struggle, but continuously strive through your struggle to find whatever level of success and happiness that you need and want, and that Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala has planned and prepared for you already. Um, that's it. Jazakumullah uh, khair. And just to give you guys quick reminders, our default sponsor, is, our primary sponsor is Radwanullah Organization, which is a prof Islamic professional uh, and personal development company that's designed to help you completely maximize your money, business, and life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you can visit it you, for more information you can visit radwanullah.com and if you would like to sponsor radwanullah tv show or anything else that we're doing send your request budget and details to radwanullah organization at gmail.com a lot of the plans have been canceled a couple of things are brewing and we're trying to figure out the different solutions that we need to be able to continuously improve upon that to get to that next level in our money business and life 
Um, and uh, Radwanullah University's life maximization program is up and running. Um, I have a couple of pro. I have two more programs that I'm still in the process of right now that uh, I'll be making the announcements for in the near future. So keep in mind, uh, keep that in mind. Be the Nilai Taala, and that's all I got for you guys today. Uh, Jazakumullah khair, Ridwanullah family, for tuning in to another a new epi- another episode of Ridwanullah TV show. I'm your host. Money, business, and life maximizer Hussein Mahmoud checking out by saying never ever give up on completely maximizing your money, business, and life in this dunya and in the akhirah for the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.